Hi, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to decompose or subdivide a B subline into its busier curves. In Rhino, you can type curl commands to draw curl with control points. So these four control points are uh, for this degree three curve. In the original algorithm of Bezier de Castelliau, the curve must have degree plus one control points. However, in Rhino and all the other CAD software, we can draw a degree three curve with any number of control points. So how it is happening, how it is possible? In fact, this curve is constructed by using Yes, Bezier de Castelia algorithm, but, but also Cox de Boer algorithm that I will try to explain you in, in a future video. I will try to code Bezier de Castelia and Cox de Boer algorithms in Rhino Python and show you how they work. But in this video, the main purpose is to show you manually by drawing how to see the pieces of Bezier curves in inside of this B spline. So uh, when you type point command and try to find these not points, you will see that there are pieces which are called nodes on this curve. So, in this curve, for example, we have one, two, three, four, five pieces, which are in fact Bezier curves with four control points, degree three Bezier curves they are. So, as you can see, they are very cleverly joined together to, to see the illusion of this continuity this. So I'm going to show you how to find the control points of these pens and uh, how to deconstruct these piece of lines your own by, by just drawing. Okay, so we will start by placing some control points. All right, I will show you eight control points. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's label these. Okay, I labeled them as P0 to P7. Now I will draw a polyline to see the control polygon and the segments of it. I explode the polyline into the segments. So I will show you very simple step-by-step -step guide. First, the first rule is division of these segments. We are going to skip the first and the last segment and divide the next ones, which are these P1, P2 and P5, P6, these two into two. I'm going to divide them into two and find these points. Okay, this is a general rule I'm talking about. So it applies to all all uh, curves, all all B splines, and uh, any number of control points. So skipping the first and the last, and dividing the next one next from the last and next from the first into two. Okay, and then. The rest of the segments, here you see, in my case, I have three segments left, and we are going to divide them into three. You can use Euclidean constructions like uh, compass and ruler methods to divide these uh, segments, but for simplicity, I divide them by commands. And the next step is to draw some lines 
between these new points in this order. So to make things a little bit clearer, I'm going to label these points for you. All right, you see that the points Q0 and Q1, Q2 and Q3, Q4 and Q5, and Q6 and Q7 are connected with a line segment. Now, the last step of this construction is to divide these new segments into two, or placing a point in the midpoint of these curves. So, these are the last points that I'm going to construct in this tutorial, and I'm going to label them as well. All right, here are the points K0, K1, K2, and K3, which are the midpoints of these segments that I draw by connecting Q uh, points. And those Q points are coming from the uh, special order of division of my control polygon here. So these K, 0, K1, K2, and K3 are the nodes of the curve, degree 3, B supplying curve, that I'm going to draw between these control points. Let's prove it. I'm drawing P2, P3, P4, P5, 6, and 7. Okay, so the points with label K are now, you see they are on my curve, but also when I hover on them, they are the nodes of this B spline curve. So this is something that I need to also verify by mathematical formula. So if any one of you have any clue about how we can validate this mathematically, this algorithm mathematically, uh, you can reach reach out to me and we can discuss about it. Uh, now I, I just intuitively draw these and find these on any any uh, number of control points and it seems to be working on any uh, circumstances. Okay, we not only found the nodes, but also it seems that we found the control points of the Bezier spans. Now I'm going to show you that. First, I'm going to redraw this curve and show you how they overlap. Okay, this is my original curve, you remember. And now I'm going to draw degree 3 Bezier curves by connecting P0, P1, Q0, and K0. You see that the points that I mentioned are the control points of the first segment of this uh, B supply curve. And I move on from K0, Q1, Q2, and K1. You see? This curve is also a part of my B spline. Going on, K1, Q3, Q4, and K2. So if I follow the order of points like this, K2, Q5, Q6, and K3, you see that they are on my original curve. So this explains uh, the decomposition of a large curve, a long curve with many control points into smaller segments. And one last thing that I uh, see in these uh, constructions is that the continuity of tangency, position and uh, curvature between these curves are all there because of the fact that you see that Q0, K0, and Q1 are collinear, and also the distance between Q0 and K0, and uh, K0 and Q1 are the same. So these two qualities indicate that at this point, uh, the second segment and my first segment are continuous, both in terms of 
pungency and curvature. That's one of the other explanations of how my curve is so continuously flowing while dividing into these segments. Thank you for watching.